So there's a few videos out there on YouTube that compare Word and Pages. And I've never used Pages before and I'm not doing a comparison video because that would be stupid since I've never used it before. Well, I have a little, but not, not enough. And I don't have it. So, um, Pages to me, I know it's a word, uh, it's basically Apple's word processing application, but it's called Pages, and in all, like, the, um, screenshots I've seen, really, it's more of, like, a publishing application, where you could do, like, newsletters and cards and stuff like that, than a word processing application. And I just wanted to show you what Microsoft Word 2008 can do when it comes to publishing stuff. Because I haven't really used it, but I kind of looked at it. So, oh, and by the way, when I click now, you'll see, like I'm clicking right now, you'll see a ripple effect. That's um, that's from I show you because I updated it now. Okay, so you go up to the top here where it says Word, and sorry, it's Fat, it's View. I don't know why I said Word. It's View, and then you go down here. You have Web Layout, Outline, Print Layout, Notebook Layout, and Publishing Layout. Click Publishing Layout. And the first time you do it, you'll get this little box. I just didn't click don't show this message again that's why it came up and um, click OK and then you'll get this um, as you can see the background is supposed to look kinda like wood I guess okay and we have some different tools here and then up here we have publication templates in addition to these normal things so if I click on public publication templates, all these come up. You have newsletters, brochures, flyers, invitations, programs, postcards, catalogs, awards, menus, posters, I think I already said that, signs and CD labels. And then the interface, you just scroll through them like this. So an example of a newsletter, if I click this, when you click it, um, it takes a little bit and then it goes onto your page and it's the same type of layout as iWeb, which is where it's a template and um, you basically click it and you can change stuff. Oops. And it kind of reminds me, it when you're in here, it's not even like Microsoft created it. It's very uh, Apple-like, I guess you could say. Um, so you can drag and drop pictures in here, and then if you click on the picture, you have crop, recolor, shape, replace, different effects. If I click that. And you can do the effects like in Photo Booth where it's bump distortion. And you can move around the center and make it big or small. And then the scale. If you make the scale lower, then obviously it looks like it's farther away. Um, and you do circle splash distortion all this stuff I don't know why you'd want to put like distorting effects but you never know and so you have a bunch I'm just gonna click OK OK so now the picture changes you can't really tell because it's small and you also have um, like frames so, if I did this one, now I have a frame on the picture. Most people probably don't use this, like a lot of people probably don't use it, this um, feature on Word, but you can add 
glows here and then of course on your formatting palette you have all these different options and it's really cool um, I'm just going to undo everything Okay, let's say I wanted to do an invitation. Um, invitation, like some of them, they don't have very many. So invitation, they only have two different choices. And they're kind of odd. But I'll forgive them for that. Um, flyers. Catalogs. All this stuff. I don't know what posters looks like. Basically, they're templates, and you can do stuff to them. And then up here, you can save it, print it, insert, um, like, another page, a duplicate page. Okay, then here's your tools. You have text box. This is, um, like, normal. And this would be vertical. This is to draw a shape. And if you click it, you have all your auto shapes here. And this is a line, or tools, I guess you, yeah, this is lines, arrows, curves. The hand, you can scroll up and down. And then the magnification, I guess. If you click and move, if you, if you're, if you have a trackpad like me, if you click and you go up the trackpad, it zooms out, and if you click and go down, it zooms way in. So if I zoom all the way out, it's like a little thing. Okay. And if you have, whoops, if you have something selected, you can group stuff or, and just all of that. And then you can add things to the toolbar. Um, and there's just so many options transparency document theme document theme see this is the problem with this okay um you can change the theme of your document so let's say i want this one it changes the colors of each thing according to a theme. Or you can make it, or you could choose from here, which is probably easier. Um, you can't tell as much with this template that I have, so I'm going to. And then if I change the scheme here, um, it kind of changes the color accordingly. Um, that's really all I gotta say. And that's pretty much it. Every time I choose a new template, it makes another document. So, I keep having to click don't save, don't save, and so on. So, that's it for this tutorial. Um, thanks for watching.